else. Now I'm going to tell you guys things I regret buying or that I regret other people me buying because I wound up not using them. <laughs> kind of regret someone buying me is the footprint frame situation if you can see oops, if you can see it is right behind me now I don't know about you guys but um, the footprint frame had like traditional ink not like the mess free ink or whatever and I don't know how you do it like we when we did it with our baby who was a noob newborn like you touch their hand and they curl it in because they want to hold something you touch their toes and they curl their toes like so i dip their toe in the ink and then or dip their foot in the ink and then press it on the paper and it would get all messed up and then i do the same thing with their hand and their hand would just all curl in so that i kind of regret because it wound up being really messy and it's not that cute a keepsake it's kind of like one of those weird things now that i just that I just have sitting there and I don't really know what to do with it. <laughs> I feel too like guilty throwing it away, but just didn't work out very well for you for us. Um, so I wouldn't really recommend that, you guys. The other thing I kind of regret having is I have this very specialized um, diaper pail called the diaper decor. And I was I'm you can use it with cloth diapers, so that's what I was using it for, but it holds like no cloth diapers. I mean, it seriously holds like maybe a day's worth of diapers and that's it, which is kind of annoying. I actually wound up buying a regular size trash can and I use that instead of my diaper decor. Maybe when we have smellier diapers and he's going less frequently and not like in that newborn frequent stooling stage, it'll be more useful. But right now, honestly, just a wastebasket is all we need. It doesn't really smell, so we're happy with what we have. <laughs> The other thing I kind of regret buying myself are nursing covers that do not have the built-in like plastic part that lets you see what you're doing because I wound up trying to use a regular one and I just I can't see what's going on and sometimes he has trouble latching so I really need to see what's happening and like help him nurse sometimes and so having something that's blocking my view is really tough also I feel like it kind of like restricts airflow and he gets like hot and mad under it whereas the ones that have like that plastic bit that lets you that's like opening at the top really helps him to kind of have some airflow and not get super mad and really helps us to nurse in public with having a little bit of you know privacy and stuff like that I've kind of used it everywhere we've gone I've just kind of like put it on whip it out and we're good to go so um I really kind of regret buying the ones that do not have that piece that lets me see what's happening because they wound up just being useless and I have them as extras but I doubt I will ever wind up using them. <laughs> and then my last thing that I regret buying is a hooded baby towel. Honestly guys, I was using it for a little while with baths, but it like was kind of annoying. <laughs> and um, and then like one day I was by myself doing a bath and I like had to do something quick and I just like wrapped them in one of my adult fluffy towels. And it worked so much better than the infant towel. I was like, why do they even make an infant sized towel? This makes no sense. Like an adult big fluffy towel just like works so much better at absorbing all the water and stuff. So that wound up working so much better for me. So yeah, honestly guys, I'd kind of skip the hooded towels. They just don't work well for me. Maybe they work well for you, but that was not really something that I loved. And then the other thing I'm a little bit, I'm in between on are BB carriers. I think BB carriers will be more helpful when he can face out, but right now he hates facing in. I don't know what it is, but he just wants to see the world. Like he doesn't like being in anything. He likes facing out and seeing everybody. And so right now baby carriers are not working for us. We have Moby Wrap, we have the baby Bjorn, Bjorn, baby Bjorn, <laughs> that's what it is. Wow. We have the Moby Wrap, the baby Bjorn, and we also have something called the Green Ev Carrier. So we have all different kinds and he just doesn't really like any of them. So we're kind of waiting until he can face out, which will be around four months old or so. And I'm going to try it again and we'll see. I've tried it a couple times. It's not like I just did it once. I've tried it probably at least once a week since he was born. And he's just, he hasn't liked it unless he's dead asleep. If he's like absolutely passed out, then he likes it. But it's kind of like, well, I could have just had him sleeping in his crib or co-sleeper. 
and like have this time for me, you know what I mean? Like going showering or, some, or something like that instead of like having a baby attached to me. So I'm a little bit undecided about it. I want to love them so bad, but maybe I'll love them once he's a little bit bigger. And that's it for now, guys. How are you guys doing with your journey? Are any of you pregnant or trying to get pregnant? Or do you guys have kids that love the baby carriers? Let me know in the comments below and have a great week, guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.